Mark Hamill is back as Luke Skywalker. Harrison Ford is back as Han Solo. And needless to say, Darth Vader is back waging uh, more Star Wars against the rebels of long, long ago. When we last saw Luke and Han, what were they up to, and now where do we find them again? Well, the... the uh... <laughs> <laughs> Here we are on the Today program. But where were we, when Star Wars ended... There was a, it was the conclusion of one of the one of us, a significant battle of the rebels. And it ended in triumph. And it ended in triumph. And uh, we begin the second one with yet another conflict with the Empire. You but the story is really not so much about those conflicts in the second one as it is about the characters. There's more complication of the characters in the second picture. In, in 1976, I signed a contract for three films. And those three films would tell the complete story. So what we have in The Empire Strikes Back is a second act, and all the problems in a second act, that is you can forward the storyline, but you really can't solve all of the loose ends, so to speak. So what was the talk, um, I can remember three years ago with Star Wars when we were anticipating more and more films to come, of not a sequel, but a prequel, or... It or gets real confusing after uh -huh. a while, doesn't it? One, but basically, this is the second of three films. Mm -hmm. that tell one story and they were originally called the adventures of luke skywalker and uh it just was too big to get on the marquee it just so happens that the next trilogy after the next film will go 20 years earlier and tell of the young alec guinness character and how darth vader came to power and then we wouldn't be involved in those because our characters were just little nippers. so this is it for you guys uh the third one the third one the third one will be which yeah. we haven't made yet all right well good and that's not until 1980. we started in the, mid in the middle of 1981 to make it i get ahead of myself the empire strikes back is only out next week and there are some old faces of course uh luke and and princess leia and han and so and c-3po and r2d2 and some new faces too yes. billy d williams is in this movie we've got another clip i want to show you as much of the movie as we can get away with without, without charging you five dollars a crap <laughs> so take a look at this tell you a secret sometimes we have um a movie stars on this show who in private will admit they don't like the movie too much these guys watch that with that you like this movie don't oh, I you i love it i love it you said what those cuts were so good well i mean like the, the the way the film is put together i'm I really enjoy. Is this as good as the first? I'm mostly excited because you see a real growth in the characters. I chose to play Luke in the first one in a specific, very innocent, very young style, so there would be a contrast. And I really feel that my character is paying off now. And then you will see a diff different set of characters in the third one because there is a progression. Uh, you said you signed a contract uh, th four years ago to do the, yes. th the three films. Uh, given that uh, Star Wars was the biggest money maker of all time, made a fortune, are you guys being compensated? Uh, better this time than you were for the first film? It really made a lot of money? A fortune. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Where are these dollar bills coming out of it? <laughs> no, are you doing better now? No, we are. We, we have been more than justly treated by, uh, by George Lucas. Don't hear that too often. Right. Well, the, the nice thing well, was that he made often. it a gift so that you don't have a, a lot of unhappiness. In other words, do you really ever need to work again? Yeah, I need to work all why? the time yeah. to keep myself alive, awake. That's why you need to work. But it, and the money is, uh, we could sit here and fantasize about money, but it doesn't, it's, it's not real. That's, uh, you have to be outside of the situation to have that concept of the money. Is it a secret, uh, which of, of the two of you um, wins the love of Princess Leia? I think it's best to keep as many surprises as possible. It's like your sister telling you what you're getting for Christmas. You have to fake that surprise. Oh boy, a new bike. I was surprised. <laughs> and congratulations to the lucky man. You'll have to find out which one of you for yourself. The lucky or lucky. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be back in a moment for first a station break.